Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Lico 79 word search. And this question is a good example for DFS solution. So let's take a look at this. Given an M time in board and a word, find if the word is this in the grid. So the word can be constructed from letters of sequential adjacent cells where adjacent cells are horizontally or vertically neighboring, the same letter cell may not be used more than once. So what that means is, first you, you have a grid, M times N grid, so N a word. So the word looks like A, B, C, C, E, D. So starting from this point, you can find A, B, C, C, E, D with the um, order like this. But you cannot go back, for example, um, in this grip, if you're looking for ABA, if the word is ABA, you cannot find, start from here and come to this B and come back to this A. So this A only can be used one time. And that's what it means by the same letter may not be used more than one time more than once. So this is this question. So um, to start with this question, uh, you can imagine a, uh, we look through the whole entire grid to see, we're looking for the starting point, which start with A. So anything else is not fit without automatically fail it. So now we see the whole entire grid, we have this point, and this point is start with A. So now we catch this point. We start with this point and do the DFS um, to see if this grip can continue with this uh, word. And also do the DFS in here. If they see the whole entire string in this uh, order uh, connected, then we turn true. So in this DFS, uh, what we can do is we have the word. Now we solve A. Now we see A in here. Then we can go to this four direction, like up, left, or right, or whatever, the four direction. You can go uh, what order you, you want. Now we see after the A, we are looking for B, C, C, E, E, D for this four direction. So now we see B here. And then we see B, and then we fulfill this um because we're looking for B C C C and B C C E D, so we have B. Then we keep looking for C C E D. Now look around four direction, see this one is C. Then we got it. And now at this point C, we're looking for C E D, and I look around see this is C. Okay, we found C E D. And then we looking for e, ED starting from this point. ED, okay. At this point, looking for four direction, looking for D. Now we reach to this point, we're looking for nothing. So when you see the word is nothing, then we turn true. And when you return true, we, we curse it back to the starting point, which is A here, is true. So that's the idea, but there's some corner case we need to consider. So um, like here, out of bound, out of bound, out of bound. So when you go to four direction, this two direction is out of bound. So we automatically return false. And also at A, we're looking for B, C, C, E, D. When we look down, we see S. So it's not start with B. So it's false. So we come back to here and go right and see B. That's the corner case checking. Um, we will see more detail um, through the code. Now we first, we check the for equal to no or for the link equal to zero. At that case, we return false. 
So like what we said, we look through entire um, metrics to see anything that start with the first character of the word. So we have in i equal to zero. So we look through the whole entire um, row, i plus plus. That will follow with j equal to zero and loop, loop through for um, how, how many column is the board? And then after that, J plus plus. Now we look through the entire uh, matrix. We check if the board I or J equal to um, word dot carrot uh, the first the first um, character, now we we found the A match with the starting point of the word. We also do a DFS that bring in, I, um, I'll put this one on the right, left side. We have I and J, this current location that and also put in the word to check. If the DFS return true, like what we say here, return true, then that means that is one of the solution. Otherwise, we just skip through that. And we look through the whole entire matrix here. We see no, uh, not, nothing, no character fulfill this two um, condition. Then we found no, um, what's that called? No word search, no words can be found. So we turn false. So this is the uh, original one. Now we can look at Boolean DFS function that take in character arrays of array in i, j, and a string word. Now this is this for the constructor. But we need to check if word.link equal to zero, which means when we reach to here, we are searching for nothing. So this is the end of the word. And we already found it, so we can return true. And another corner case is the our bound corner case, which is i less than zero, j less than zero. Like i less than zero is our bound on the top side, j less than zero is the left side right here, our bound or i is bigger or equal to board um, dot line, which is our bound right here, the bottom one. And j bigger or equal to zero dot line here. So it's this side, the right side, our bound right here. So at that case, um, we will return false because it's our bound. Also have another case we need to consider is for current ij, the current location is doesn't match with the word character at zero. So when we started a and we're looking for the word that start with A. So if you're looking for something start with not something that's not start with A, then we at this location is false. So we return false. And 
uh, now we know we know this character um has a and this is look the word is start with a so what we can do we need to cancel this a so we make this a um hold on we save this character first this character tam is equal to board i and j we started after we save it to the tam i will tell you why we save this tam so what we do is make this board i j equal to um whatever is fine oh uh, we just use an empty like a spay character in here so now after we get this one we this place will be empty so when you come back to b it, when you reach the lab side you know it is no longer available so uh, stuffy knows i can i can't breathe and talk it's really tough let's see oh yeah come back to this um solution see after this one a is here and we, we need to check um do uh dfs bring the board in there we need to check the four direction right so we start with i minus one j and a word dot substring one what's this mean is just take out this first so you just bring this b c c e d to find i mean uh for this four direction so is what it means is on this four direction we're looking for b c c e d instead of a b c sub a so take out one character so this is one direction if either of them we turn true right then we need to do something oh wait or i plus one sub string and another direction so now is i j minus one which is the lab side and also do the string um last direction tfs out of i j plus one I uh, definitely need to practice my typing is so slow. So now we have four directions. So either one at the direction um get B C C E D. Then that means at this A location is right. The so A location found the whole entire word. Now if this condition is correct, then we turn true. Now, after we go to this uh, four direction, we found nothing. So that means we found uh, the word is not found starting from this pointer, starting from A. What we can do, what we need to do is since we have this A become empty, we need to fill this back. Um, so board IJ is equal to temp. So we need to fill this back because if you we move we move we move um then you don't fill it back so this entire things will be empty if you find a b c i mean a a b c c d e starting from this point because you delete this um character in here though you, you cannot fulfill this one 
So every time you have the DFS, after you search the DFS, we have to fill this back when it doesn't fulfill the word. You can't find the word. And also return false at the end, since we don't find it in here. So this is the DFS. Oh, let's see. Mm. Oh, okay, this missing. Here, word charted, oh my. Okay, oh cool. And um, let's submit it. Wrong answer. Let's see what happened. Let's give me a moment so I don't bother your time. Okay, so there's some logic problem right here. I found it. It's right here. Shouldn't be or it should be n. So if um if this one is a and uh, this whole DFS is working, then we turn true, right? I think I try it one more time. Cool. And that's it for this solution. Um, it's really straightforward, it's good to practice. So if you still have any question, please comment it below and I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video, bye.